Hi guys, so today we'll be looking at uh, the quotient rule of differentiation. This rule only applies to functions that are dividing, meaning that you have a function u divided by a function v, like that. So as long as you have two functions dividing, then you can apply the product, sorry, the quotient rule. So the quotient rule is given by the formula v du dx minus u dv x and everything is over v squared. Of course, what you need to do is whatever you have as a numerator becomes a u, whatever you have as a denominator becomes a v. So to start with, let's look at this example that we have here. Find the derivative of these two functions that are dividing. So whatever we have in the numerator is our u, hence u is equals to 3x squared minus 4 and v is a denominator which is e to the power 2x so i'm going to find the derivatives of u for which the derivatives of u du dx is 6x 4 is a constant so it just remains as it is then the v dx the derivative of uh, v is simply 2 e to the power 2x, like that. Then we have to put this in the formula now. We said divide the x, quotient rule is given by v du dx minus u dv dx, everything is over v squared. Of course, uh, this formula that we have here can be written in a short form like this. We have uh, divide the x being equals to vu prime minus uv prime over v squared. This uh, just represents the same uh, same formula. So now it's just a matter of replacing. So our divide x in this case will be equal to v. What we have as our v is e to the power 2x. What we have as our du dx is right here, which is just uh, 6x. Let's put them in brackets minus our u is what we have there which is a 3x squared minus 4 and uh, our dv dx let's put these in brackets is 2e to the power 2x like that now remember everything is over v squared and our v is uh, 2 to the power 2x sorry e to the power 2x so uh, this and power 2 like that so it's just a matter of expanding and simplifying so divide the x Will be equals to e to the power 2x we can factor out e to the power 2x you can see that it's common so factoring out e to the power 2x here we're going to get um, i think we also factor out e2 factor out 2 e to the power 2x so that what we remain with here is simply 3x minus what do we remain with here so we factor out this whole thing leaving us with only 3x squared plus 4. So why is it plus 4? Because this negative uh, multiplies with that negative to give us a positive. Everything is over e to the power 2x squared, like that. Okay, let's just transfer it here. So our divide x will be equal to, we can cancel out the e to the power 2x and one of those so that we get, we remain with 2, open bracket, 3, uh, we don't have any like terms, so we can leave it as this. 3x minus 3x squared plus 4. Everything divided by e to the power 2x. So we can leave it at that step as our final answer. Let's look at uh, one more example. This time around, I want to look at uh, trigonometric ratios. What we have here is um, we've been asked to find the derivative of tan. Now, before we find the derivatives of tan, we should know that uh, tan, the tan function is the same as the sine over the cosine. So we know that tan is the same as this. So we can just uh, use this. Then from here now, we're going to apply the, 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 the quotient rule, of which our numerator is u. So the numerator is sine. And our denominator is cos, like that. So what is u prime? 
or what is the u? Let me just use this to u dx. So differentiating u, we're going to get a positive cos x. Differentiating v, we're going to get a negative sine x, like that. Then we put we push these two into the formula, of which we said the formula is dy dx is equals to v du dx minus u dv dx and everything is over v squared. So doing our replacements, what we have, our v is cos x, our du dx is cos, so multiplied by cos, x minus, our u is sine, sine x, and our dv dx is negative sine x. So now remember everything divided by v squared and our v is cos uh, x. So we square it like that. Okay, so from there now, let's expand. Let's just push this here again. So what I'm going to have will be dy dx is equals to, if we multiply cos and cos, we simply get uh, cos square x. Negative, negative, of course, becomes positive. Sine, sine becomes sine square x. This whole thing is divided by cos square x, like that. So proceed with it. Dy dx will be equals to, we know that cos square x plus sine square x is equals to 1. This is uh, the common identity from trigonometry, meaning that what we have here is just 1 over cos square x x like that. So now 1 over cos gives us a sec, meaning dy dx will be the same as uh, 1 over cos is sec, so we we'll have sec square x as our final answer, the derivative for tan, meaning that if f of x is tan, then dy dx is equal to sec square x. Okay, so that's it. Thank you very much.